Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can everyone hear me? On behalf of TIC, I'd like to thank everyone um, for the opportunity to come and present to you and tell you a little bit more about TIC. I think you are the perfect audience to talk to, seeing that you're all traveling and that you're going to Africa. My name is Alke Gerber. I am the new business corporate consultant for TIC. Before I continue, I'd like to just um, play you a little video clip to give you a better idea of what TIC does and so forth. Um, it's always, we always say it's a grudge purchase, but if you, if you get a better idea of what we do, you'll appreciate us even more. A snake bite in Thailand, a heart attack in the USA, or falling down the stairs in Cape Town. These scenarios are the last thing on a traveler's mind when booking a trip. They're not nice to think about, but they happen. Sadly, that's not all. Unforeseen emergencies don't just take a personal toll on people's lives, they take an expensive one as well. With a decreasing value of the rand against many foreign currencies, hospital and other emergency costs can run into the millions. Take a GP visit in the UK, for example, 200 pounds. A heart attack in Europe, 35,000 euro. Or what about an air ambulance repatriation in the USA? As much as $175,000. An accident while traveling can bankrupt even the wealthiest person. But do travelers plan that into their holiday budgets? With TIC, they can. Because the range of travel insurance products gives travelers affordability and control. They can purchase their policies in rands with a peace of mind that emergency expenses are covered in the appropriate currency. TIC products cover emergency medical costs paid directly to the service provider. These can include hospitalization, repatriation, evacuation, medical transportation, in-hospital monitoring and even resuscitation fluids, sterile transfusion equipment and screened blood from the Blood Care Foundation accidental death and disablement compensation, trip amendment costs caused by cancellations, missed flights or unexpected illness, and theft, damage or loss of luggage, travel documents and cash. Whether traveling internationally or around South Africa, on business or for leisure, frequently or infrequently, TIC's products give everyone the peace of mind to travel assured. Our policies are tailored to suit anyone, including company employees because business travel can be expensive enough without unforeseen emergency costs. TIC's business industrial policy even covers travelers engaging in manual labor. Clients traveling in Africa or somewhere remote? TIC provides unconditional tropical disease, Ebola and malaria cover, even if travelers don't take anti-malaria medication. For leisure travelers, skiing accidents aren't uncommon either, with most claims being related to knee injuries. TIC Travel Insurance covers a flight upgrade to business class and a medical escort if necessary. While leisure sporting activities are covered in our client's policy, professional sports, organized events or competitive sports require a sports extension. And don't assume that a weekend in Durban or any local destination isn't covered by one of our packages too. The unexpected can happen anywhere. A bumper bashing in a hired car? Stolen luggage? These mishaps can hamper any vacation, no matter where travelers are. Some people only use the complimentary travel insurance offered by credit card companies. But while these plans can be helpful, make sure you check carefully what they cover. They may not be as comprehensive as you think. Bottom line, with a TIC policy, everyone can travel assured. Everyone's covered. Travel Insurance Consultants is an authorized financial service provider and since our launch in 1988 has become the market leader in South African travel insurance. We are a member of the Association of South African Travel Agents and a division of Sumtum Limited, South Africa's largest short-term insurer. Okay, so um, from the video clip, you saw much of our benefits and what we have to offer and so forth. Um, but when I go and visit corporates, it's quite alarming to know that many of their staff still goes into Africa and into the world without travel insurance or even none at all, you know, nothing at all. Um, and 
when I speak to them, the, the same old story always comes up where they say, oh, Alka, I wish we had travel insurance then. Because I hear sad stories, I hear horror stories. So it's always the, the, I wish. I wish I had that travel insurance. And for TIC being established since 1998, we have been the market leader ever since. We know what we're doing. We're not a fly-by-night company. And wholly owned by Suntum, we can give our clients the best possible product at the best possible price. <laughs> We've done a little um, exercise, and from that you can see that 44% of our business travelers goes into Africa. Africa is not for sissies, and I, know, I think you all know that with your travel that you do. The road infrastructure is poor. The medical facilities are very, very poor. Um, you can be in a remote site and be five hours away from the nearest hospital. And when you guys are traveling into Africa, you focus on your business. You're not focusing on falling ill or having an accident of such sorts. Two of our clients, um, Mr. Yuhan Furi, he had a little injured or injury on duty while he was climbing onto a tractor and the, the heavy door banged on his ribs. He had to have a lung operation um, in the DRC and that came to about 400,000. Rand. Another client of ours, Mrs. Sitole, went to China for a business conference. And whether it be China, it could happen anywhere in the world. Um, she unexpectedly collapsed. And upon um, hospitalization, she was diagnosed with aneuris an aneurysm. She was hospitalized in ICU for four and a half months in a coma. We um, sent her cousin abroad for a compassionate visit to be at her bedside. We paid for the travel, the accommodation, and the likes thereof. And had Mrs. Sitole's family not have the travel insurance, her family would have been liable for four and a half million rand. I don't have that kind of money. I don't think any corporate would like to incur that kind of money. Um, so you can see from 400,000 to four and a half million anything can happen um, it's just it's it's the unexpected what we're talking about with TRC we choose the best emergency assistance companies um, they operate 24 7 365 and like I said knowing that Africa is not for sissies these guys have got highly trained clinical staff they've got fully equipped air ambulances they serve in 47 countries in Africa and with a direct settlement provider network, it makes it just so much easier with, um, with having to pay the bills, not having delays anywhere. The medical assistance and evacuation management is also it's, it's a priority for any corporate. Um, with these guys, they know exactly how to get into the countries. If, for instance, you're in a remote site, um, we, we ask for the GPS coordinates. So with the air evacuation, with the air ambulance, they will know where they can land, where the closest landing strip is. Um, they, they know exactly how the whole, um, uh, sorry, my, my wording is jumbled up now, how the whole um, situation works when you have to get clearance to land. The pilot <laughs> is on a certain amount of time when they fly. So it's really important for the assistance company when any, any corporate deals with a insurance that they know that they are dealing with the best people. Very important also, when you're in a foreign country and something happens, the language can be such a barrier. If you cannot speak the language in a foreign country, you, you're ill, you don't know where to go, you don't know what to say. It's nice to know that these guys are fluent in English, French, Arabic, Portuguese, and then most of the local African languages as well. TIC saw a need in the gap because when I go and see corporate, they will say to me, mm, Alka, I've got medical aid insurance. And I think this guy's traveling on his credit card insurance. I'm not completely sure. There's a new buzzword in the industry, which is duty of care. I don't know if you've heard about it. Basically, what it entails is that if your staff member is traveling abroad or you are traveling abroad and you fall ill or you die abroad, and these are real life situations, it is the corporate's responsibility to bring back the mortal remains of that person. 
such an exercise can cost you anything from about 95,000 to as much as 350,000 rand. These are things that the corporate is not budgeted for, but it's reality and it happens. So when they speak to me, they say, okay, so what do we need to do? So we've developed what we call an annual corporate travel policy to make things better for corporates traveling regularly on a regular basis. And it doesn't matter where you go in the world. It's a once upfront annual payment. And what we do is you purchase travel days for the corporate. So every time you will travel, we would simply declare that you are traveling. The packages are really, really adequate and it is for the entire organization. Anyone can travel who's traveling on the business of the company. Very important to know as well, it's a monetary excess free policy and manual labor is included. When I touch on HIV cover, I would also like to mention that we're part of the Blood Care Foundation. Very important to note because if you are in Africa, you're not always guaranteed of screen blood if you need a blood transfusion. With um, cover with TIC, you are guaranteed of screen blood. Our optional extensions that we can um, also include in this policy is things like your luggage, which often goes missing or stolen, um, political evacuation in the event if there's unrest that breaks out, and then also a personal accident and permanent total disability. These are optional extensions that we've added onto the, uh, the policy so that you can tailor make your package to suit your needs. The premiums can suit your needs and your budget. Okay. So if you need any assistance in setting up a corporate policy, you can either contact myself, but we've also got representatives nationwide, four being in Gauteng, and then we've got four of us looking after all the corporates. We've got over a thousand companies that we insure um, and it's, it's very simple to put it into place. If you need any more information, I will be available to talk to afterwards for questions and answers. Um, in the meantime, if, if there's anything else, please feel free to ask. But Paul, I think the, the <coughs> procedures will be for afterwards, correct? Hundreds. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope you learned a little bit more. <laughs>